and I have some breaking news I don't think you want to miss I really don't think you want to miss so stick around for the upcoming information I'm calling it breaking news because it for me it's big it's a big thing and for you if you watch me it's big so stick around guys stick around for that later on in the episode okay <laughs> Good morning everyone, how are we all on this wonderful Sunday morning? It's 4.30 local time in the UK uh, and I am off on my travels once again. Um, just like to say thank you for those who participated in watching my last two videos. I decided to drop two videos in 24 hours. Why did I do that? Well. Uh, the algorithm is forgetting me a little bit I think so today what are we doing on Sunday well we are going over to Slough Town over to Slough uh, do a collection and we are heading over water again overseas as you can tell uh, where's my security guard Anyway, I'll have to wait here a minute. Uh, yeah, so we're heading back overseas. Um, it'd be weird if I wasn't going overseas, to be fair, on this job. But, is what it is, <laughs> I guess. So, um, yeah, where is security? I don't know where security is. Oh dear, I don't want to use my horn because it's a loud one. Oh dear. Yikes, what do I do? Anyway, uh, so I'll wait here for a minute, give them a minute, I'm early. Um, so yeah, we're heading on over to um, Belgium. And then I think we're going over uh, towards uh, Lux Luxembourg. Well, I don't think, I know we are. We're going to Belgium, we're going to Luxembourg. Um, doing a couple of deliveries out there. There you go, beat my on. Might, he might be sleeping. He's not sleeping, he's in the toilet. And if he's in the toilet, I feel really bad. Anyway, um, that's what we're doing today. Uh, we are doing something a little bit different. We're not going on the train today. We're going via the ferry. So um, maybe I can record something a bit more with that. Uh, he was asleep, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he was in his chair asleep. Bless him. Um, so yeah, we're going, going over via the ferry. Um, and then we're not tipping today uh, we're gonna have a nice chilled afternoon or chilled evening um, and we're gonna pull over and park somewhere and watch the football so if you're wondering what day it is well what Sunday it's the day England play Slovakia uh Good morning people, how are we all? Are we all well? Let's hope so. So, uh, we are now 7.35 in the morning. We have loaded in Slough and we are pretty much um, making our way down to Dover. Um, feels weird saying go Dover, not Folkestone. So, because um, we're going on the boat this morning. I'm not sure if I told you that. Um, just kidding. I'm super excited I'm going on the boat. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, it's been a long, well not a long time, but I've gone from going on it all the time to never and then going on the train. So uh, just to get that little break, um, going on the boat, I can have a shower, I can have a breakfast, well I can have a, uh, a bit of eggs on toast, a um, cup of tea and just chill out for an hour or so before we start making our way up towards Brussels. I'm uh, going to find somewhere to park once we're in Brussels um, for our delivery tomorrow morning. Um, five o'clock tip in the morning it'll be uh, and then we'll be heading on up to Luxembourg for a 
a delivery and a collection uh, in Luxembourg, I think. Um, so, yeah, all good so far. for the Irish um, P&O and um, the FDS look absolutely empty oh wow there's one lane open for the Irish ferries and about six lorries in it um, there's only three lorries in front of us so it's not the end of the world I'm just getting there. off the ferry in Calais a uh, bit overclouded today uh, not by too much but it's certainly oh, it's yeah it's cloudy uh, very overcast not what we wanted to to participate in but it is what it is uh, let's follow the exit without any any customs because we're customs cleared we don't need to do anything which is good so in a nutshell let's get the hell out of here we doing guys we are well so we are now in France uh, we've not long got off the ferry in Calais um, Beautiful place. There we are on the loading bay. Look at this for a sunset. Six o'clock local time, five o'clock UK time. Parked on a bay, getting unloaded right there. What more could you ask for? Hey, eh? what more could you ask for? What a beautiful day it's going to be today. Uh, delivery has been made this morning. We've made our delivery. We're now heading off up to Luxembourg. It's about a three hour drive. Um, so we're heading there now, ETA is about 9.35 this morning, um, so we're on, we're on plan for what we need to do. We have a collection um, from the other side of um, on the wrong side of the road. 
Yeah, we have uh, a collection for, <laughs> for, I'm thinking to myself, is that me on the wrong side of the road or him? And it was clearly him. Uh, yeah, we have a collection uh, from the other side of town uh, once we get into Luxembourg to where we're actually making our delivery. So um, shouldn't take too far to get there once we've done our initial tip. Uh, one o'clock load. Uh, no, so pretty much every time I've been to the collection point we're going to, it is a regular one that we do. Um, they're never on time, they're always late, and you're there for them. Done this any well, very well, have I? Yeah, I'll bugger this one up and oh, I might be able to rescue this. What are we doing there? Just nip it forward a minute. again there we go get that trailer in there let's get her in there nice and straight all right I think we're good with this all right back in the mo afternoon people how are we uh, so we are now in Luxembourg um, we are now in the like, holding area if you like um, waiting for a vehicle to come and spot us see us and say right go on door whatever usually it's around door 46 to 49 something like that but um, yeah it's got to play the waiting game so I'm here with a cup of tea I've just had some lunch I had a a slice of sourdough bread with some butter and marmite on uh, very nice and a cup of tea so um, we are now here to play the waiting game uh, I have been here half an hour already so I got here at 11 o'clock local time that'll be 10 o'clock UK time uh, not due till one o'clock so i could be in for a bit of a wait so i think i'm gonna have a bit of a snooze um knowing my luck of all days i'll just about get get me a down for an hour and they'll uh come knocking on the door <laughs> we're ready early mate and i'll be like no way you're kidding me what a day so i've got nowhere near where i wanted to be i was going to take an 11 i'm going to do a reduced break um, tonight and have a nine hour break and leave at 6 a.m. in the morning because uh, where I've parked there's not really many spaces to park so um, I've had to park where the cars are so they won't be happy in the morning morning everyone how are we well we have woken up to a cold and wet morning um, we are now the day after we loaded and spent hours upon hours waiting to load in Luxembourg but we're loaded we traveled down the road we've nighted out we woke up today um, just got back from brushing my teeth I, I had a wash put my hands look at the state of them look at them there just they look so dirty anyway uh, brush my teeth had a bit of a wash um, run out of hair I ran out of hair gel people so my hair gel, I can't gel my hair, so I need to buy some today. So uh, look for an update on that. <laughs> so we have pretty much done an 11 hour break. Um, so I need to go and do some vehicle checks in a moment. And then, well, put my tackle in first, do some vehicle checks. Uh, when we've done some vehicle checks, we will be ready to get going. So another, another quarter of an hour or so before we're ready to depart. So. Earlier on, if you recall, I said I have some exciting breaking news for you. 
Well, that moment has now arrived, and I'm I'm really happy to be telling you this. Uh, I've been I've been sort of looking into things over the last few weeks uh, why my videos might not be doing so well again. Uh, it's um, been a bit tough and difficult to get my um, get my name across social media and get my. Uh, you know my name across social media more and more and more so I've taken a step backwards so what I'm trying to do to rectify the situation this for me guys is breaking excellent news so over the last few weeks you probably would have noticed that I have been saying that um, I have two GoPro cameras one of them works really really well which is the GoPro camera 9 and the GoPro 5 eh, it works but it has a tendency of cutting out and it's really become frustrating so what I've done guys you ready drum roll I have purchased a brand new camera so after this video you will see I'm hoping hoping with fingers crossed the new camera would have arrived and I will be starting to use the new camera about this new camera, it is full of goodies. It can do so much more on a wider scale than what the GoPro can do. Let's go down a different route. And the route we have gone, ladies and gentlemen, I have now purchased the Insta360 X3 camera. Not the X4, it's a little bit too expensive, but I've purchased the X3. If you don't... Yeah. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. I, that is my breaking news. This, I'm hoping, is going to change the way I make videos. You can do so, so much. I actually got the idea from a, another YouTuber who I follow, watch, her, watch all of her videos, and she's very, very good, actually. I think her name, I think she's called Chloe the Brick Driver or something like that. Anyway, if you don't know who she is, I'm going to give her a little freebie here. Go and check her out. She is fantastic. And the camera she uses is amazing. It really is. It is fantastic. And it has something called the invisible stick. And when I first heard about this, I'm thinking, what the hell is an invisible stick? Well, watch her videos. Go and see. It is amazing. Right, guys. So, you join me. We have tipped. It wasn't pretty. We were there a while. Um, quite annoying really really poor load uh, but nothing we can do we just got to crack on bite the bullet and get on with it which is what I did uh, unloaded the lorry got there at three uh, left there ten minutes ago so two and a half hours I was there you could say not very long waiting to get on the door a lot of it was offloading so um, couldn't show it weren't allowed to show it at all um, which I can understand so not the end of the world, but thanks for coming with me. And uh, I think that will probably wrap it up for this week. I've got plenty more I'm doing tomorrow. So um, I'm going from London tomorrow. There's a shock. Um, and we're heading on up to Utrecht. So a little something different there. Uh, and then God knows what, probably something out of um, Amsterdam, I'm assuming. Um, somewhere like that maybe, or maybe down to Brussels or... Uh, I don't know, we go anywhere, so um, whatever will be, will be. Whatever I'm doing, you will somehow find out about it, whether it's across my social media directly or it's on one of my episodes from YouTube. Either way, keep your eyes peeled, look out for it, and I'll see you soon. Over and out for now. Thanks for watching.